back to Power Lunch, everybody. Again, we got a strong jobs number this morning. We got markets moving higher again. If you're on the radio, the NASDAQ is up 144 points, eight tenths of 1%. So there you go. Happy Friday. Jobs are up. Stocks are up. I'm up. All right. So even as our markets keep making records, your next guest says there are great opportunities in places that you might not yet be looking. So let's kind of go around the world for some of these opportunities. Joining us now in our market navigator is Brian Stutland of Equity Armor Investments. Brian, good to chat with you again. Let's talk about China. Obviously, this giant fiscal just, you know, a punch in the gut, if you will, in a good way, I suppose, sending those markets rocketing. Were you a buyer? Are you still a buyer if you were? Well, I mean, I think when you look at it, obviously, you look at the ways to invest here from the United States. And FXI is a Chinese ETF uh, where you can kind of look at places. And certainly when you look at that ETF alone, it's up 50%. It's almost made a 50% retracement from its highs in 2021 to the lows in 2022, right? And here now up almost 50% on the year itself. It's looking like it is actually breaking up to the upside, that the stimulus that's going on in China is starting to reprop things up and valuations starting to move higher. So this is an area that I would look at. There might be some resistance ahead. It obviously had such a huge plunge. And really, there's a big shift from the manufacturing sector and the belief around China to be a manufacturing nation to one that's a domestic, domestic driven economy. And that change, I don't know if investors are quite ready to embrace that. So there's a little bit of caution behind some of this rise. Well, we've got, for those of you who can't see the graphic, we've got a, a blue line going up and a giant orange, like got Nick's colors going here, giant orange line across the top, which looks like it's resistance at 35,550. I mean, d- does it look like technically to you that if people are like, well, I may, I'm going to put some new money into China because I missed this run, maybe this is the resistance. Well, I thought you were actually going to mention Mets Nation, which had obviously a big win yesterday. I I can't do it because our floor director, Kareem, he's got Mets hat on, Mets shoes, Mets underwear, probably. Who knows? (laughs) He's got the shoes. (laughs) So I had to say Nick's not Mets because he's riding high right now, Brian. Yeah. No, that, that orange line was a big area of resistance for the FXI. And it looks like it's actually today going to close above that area of resistance, which now is what that becomes support, right? So the upside here for a stock like this is probably about $40. And so I think there is a little bit of an upside here. But again, people have to be willing to accept that that China as a nation, it's going to need to change from a manufacturing nation to one that's domestic driven economy, because really there's been so much geopolitical tension around what they do there and, and how they operate that it's going to be more difficult for them to sort of collaborate with other nations around the world. And I think other areas like India are actually becoming the manufacturing nation of the world, whether it's in technology or actually physical goods themselves. Brian Stutland, thank you. And by the way, because we got a lot of fans in the New York area, I look at this. Look at, we got the Mets here. Kareem with his (laughs) brand new hat. Brand. No, that's not new. I know that. I thought we were going to take a road trip to Milwaukee. Sorry to disappoint you. And now we're going to Philly, I guess. Anyway. And look okay, at the shoes. You. It's got to be the shoes. Even there you go. I'm on the bandwagon now. I love it. No, he, to be fair to Cream, he's been on the bandwagon for 20 That's painful years. Deservedly Longer so. Longer than that. You're not that old. And he's the best. Gentlemen, thanks. Okay. Brian.